video time video time video time video time it's time for today's video okay never do that again yo what's up guys it's isaac and today we're gonna be talking about three misconceptions i had about finding my purpose and i think these can relate to you guys as well as you're looking to find your purpose and what that actually means for a little bit of context i'm 20 years old and I'm running this ministry called Daily Disciple Ministry where I post videos and blog posts and lots of other stuff. I have a book coming out this fall, which is crazy. Um, but I'm just trying to figure life out. I have no idea what I'm doing, honestly. And so this is kind of, you're watching my journey progress as I try to figure out what I'm doing with my life. So I wanted to kind of pull this video together, the three misconceptions that I had about finding my purpose. Because I think we all have kind of misconceptions about what it actually looks like to find purpose in life because we're we're all looking for purpose i'm looking for purpose i'm constantly looking for like where i'm supposed to be where i fit into and we're all looking for that um we all have that desire god created us that way so i think there's some things though that we get off base with when we're looking for a purpose that you know hopefully you'll learn from my story so the first thing is is that you only have one purpose and and i want to clarify this you have one ultimate purpose. Our ultimate purpose is to glorify God and enjoy Him forever. That was from, um, you know, what the Westminster Confession of Faith. That is our ultimate purpose: is to glorify God in everything we do, to image Him on this earth, and to enjoy Him, enjoy the great blessings that He's given us. Right? That's our ultimate purpose. But we don't have one necessarily consistent, specific purpose throughout our whole entire lives. You see, like for me, I was looking for this one thing, this one thing that I was supposed to do and only do and be amazing at that and only do that for the rest of my life. And once I found that, you know, that then that would be my purpose. That's what I would do. But then I came to realize, especially early on, you're not going to just do one thing your entire life. Yeah, sure. Some people um, work one job their entire life, but that's only a real small part of your entire purpose. Your life circumstances are going to change. You know, maybe you're single and your, your purpose is going to look one way. What you're supposed to be doing looks one way then. And then you get married and then you're, you know, a new couple. You're, you're, what you're doing, your purpose looks different then. And then as you have kids and everything like that, your responsibilities, where God wants you, his calling on your life changes based on your circumstance, your life stages, right? Your purpose then. Yeah, your ultimate purpose never changes. You're supposed to glorify God and enjoy him forever. Image him on this earth. Show the world what God looks like. Live that way. Live, Demonstrate his character to the world. But your specific purpose, where he's called you to, is not always going to be the same. He's going to put you in different places, in different scenarios, with different responsibilities, with different callings, right? And that's what I didn't realize because I was so obsessed with, I gotta find the one thing I missed out on. Wait a minute, I can be called to this thing right now. And then in a couple months, maybe God calls me this way and puts me here with these people and to do this thing. And that's okay. The second misconception is, is that you'll never doubt when you're in God's purpose. So when you're put a place, when you're called to a, uh, like, you know, any particular place where God wants you to be, whether in career or in family life or whatever, and you feel like, yeah, I found what I'm supposed to be doing, where I'm supposed to be, and that's good, that you'll never doubt when you're in that. Because we all have doubts. Just because we're where God wants us to be doesn't mean we ever, we never question that. Doesn't, doesn't mean we have never have questions like, wait a minute, what's next for me? Is this exactly where I'm supposed to be? Because we're always trying to sort things out in our mind. We're never going to be perfectly content or, you know, understand exactly where we're supposed to be because we're always going to be continually looking forward. You think in your mind somehow, and I do this all the time, is that once I find that thing, then I'll be set and then I'll never doubt and I'll never have questions about what I'm doing. But that's just not true. I know I'm supposed to be making videos right now on my YouTube channel. That's what God has called me to do. But that doesn't mean I've never have questions like, oh man, maybe I'm just wasting my time. Maybe I'm just never have an impact on people. Maybe these videos are trash. Maybe I'm, I'll, I'll never do anything of value for God. You have questions, you have doubts, but that doesn't mean that you're not where God wants you to be. The last, mis mis the last misconception that I had about finding my purpose 
was this idea that when you find your purpose, you'll be perfectly satisfied, that your heart will be totally fulfilled, that you will be able to, you know, impact people in the way you want to, you'll be able to help them, you'll be able to do everything that your heart's desired and you'll be perfectly content, and perfectly satisfied, and you will be whole when you find that purpose where God it wants you and it'll be great. It's just not the way it works because God didn't design us to be perfectly satisfied and fulfilled in things or doing things. He created us to be perfectly satisfied and fulfilled in Him ultimately and we'll experience that fully when He comes back. We try to be satisfied doing something or ministry, or anything like that, we'll always be disappointed. It doesn't mean like there's not times of wonderful, fruitful life where you're just enjoying it and, and you do feel fulfilled. But ultimately, our satisfaction or our ultimate fulfillment, our wholeness is found in Christ. And I'm continuing to learn that. Um, I'm, I, I'm still on the search, trying to find that thing that, oh, this, this really makes me happy. This satisfies me. This fulfills me. But there's always that missing piece of, well, not quite, not quite. And I just want to encourage you, and maybe this seems like a discouragement, that you'll really never find that last piece that you'll be perfectly fulfilled in things that you're doing or these purposes that you have on earth because they won't fulfill you. Only Christ can totally fulfill you. And so as I'm continuing to walk in, in my purpose right now, which is, you know, working part time at a couple of jobs and then making videos and writing and preparing for the book launch and fall and you know, I'm just kind of walking in these things, but I still have no idea what I'm doing. I still have doubts. I still have, you know, questions and I'm still lurking, looking for that kind of satisfaction in these things and fulfillment. But ultimately, I need to be continued to looking to Christ. And that's what I want to encourage you guys. Continue to look to Christ to find your fulfillment and satisfaction. In. And I, I believe he's going to guide you where he wants you. And maybe it's not going to be the same throughout your whole life. Maybe it'll be one place or one occupation or one calling, place in ministry, whatever it is, follow him. He's trustworthy. You can trust him. I'm continuing to learn to trust him. And um, yeah, I think those are three, three misconceptions that we all think about. Uh, maybe you've struggled with these too when we talk about finding our purpose. Um, finding purpose is a big topic and I'd like to hear your thoughts on it. Leave me a comment down below about what you think about these misconceptions. Maybe some misconceptions you had about finding your purpose. Um, nobody, like I don't have my purpose figured out yet, but I'm just continuing to follow Christ. So give this video a like if you enjoyed it and be sure to subscribe if you like more videos like this. Share it with your friends and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye guys!